Welcome back to Further Solutions Academy. Further Solutions Academy. Encourage us more to share our video anywhere you see it and also subscribe. If you have not subscribed before, just make sure you press on the subscribe button on it. And also, we have a lot of videos for you to play with. A lot of video, over 300 videos. It means you can come to this channel and learn any topic of your choice. You know, just to note that. And if you want to reach us, or you need to, you can leave a comment below, or you contact us with this line. Can contact us with this line. You can call us, you can WhatsApp us, and also Telegram is allowed. If that would be clear, I'm good to go. Okay, on this video, I'll be walking you through multiplication and division of numbers less than um, less than one using logarithm table. Using logarithm table. By the end of this video, you will understand, but make sure you watch over our previous video, which is, uh, I've been on logarithm now, this is the third video on logarithm, but I may be able to, I may not be able to see everything I need to say here, but most of them are already on the other video. Now, when you talk about multiplication, I've explained multiplication in my previous video, which is, I was explaining multiplication law of logarithm, which if I have law, a multiplus log b will be equals to log a b which is a multiplied by b now and i told you that when you have a number you are to multiply and the number the result of logarithm will be what added not that not that i think about that you you will understand now at this point i won't do much just to show you one or two examples and uh, it will really help you now for instance Evaluate, evaluate 4.935 multiplied by 0 0.3126, all divided by, okay, let me not put it all, all. let us play with this first one. Now, I, in my previous video, I've told you what is called table of logarithm, which is a public table, and by now, you should all have it, and you can use your calculator, which I make, I said, uh, scientific calculator will be very good, but it's very good of you if you can get what is called four figure table. This is four figure table. We always have it in the back of our textbooks. Also have it in the in your in, in the book. You know, this is four figure table. You have antilogism and you have your logarithm. Now, please make sure you understand that. And I've explained how to use that in our previous video. Now, how do I go for this? I have this solution. How do I solve it? Now, the first thing I will do is that um, I will have my number and I will have it this way, which is um, now this number is less than what is less than one. Please take note of that. I will put this as number and this is what as log. Now, I will have 4.935. Now, which this one would be zero point because the decimal does not move front, also move back. I explained that in our previous video, and this was also 0 0.3126. This is bar one. This is bar one because this decimal is moving front. Now look at this. I have 0 0.3126. Now it means it's moving up. It is moving by one step, which will be three point. Now at this point, three point one. 2, 6, multiply by 10 raised to the power minus 1. Now, when you move front, we call it bar, which is going to be like this implication in normal mathematics. Now, at this point, this is called standard form. Now, all what you are to achieve here is what? Standard form. Look at this one. 4.93. Now, this is what? It is an ordinary form. I can also write this as 4.93. 5.10 to the power what is zero now because of what that is not moving anywhere that is why we have it 10 to the power zero and any number is power zero is always one except zero himself which take note of that information now okay to be continued i will now go to my four figure table which i've explained in my previous video i will go to the four figure table which i've done that um 49 
under three different of five, which I have 49. I will have 49 around there and under three, and which we have the number as I will have it as um, as of six nine three two. Now, which also 31 under two different of six that your difference will be added to what you are getting, what you have gotten from the table. Now, which I'll be having by one, which I'll be having four nine five one. Now, at this point, is multiplication which it will be added. It will be added. Now, it means I'll be having, um, okay, it will now be having this, 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 this. This is going to be three. This is going to be, uh, okay. Yes, this is going to be three and, yes, this is going to be three. This is going to be uh, seven. I mean, eight. Nine, that'll be 18. Now we have eight. One is dropping here, and uh, one plus that's going to be um, 11. One is dropping here, which is going to be what one and by one, there will be zero, which is going to be zero. That is what you are having is 0 0.883. That is my answer. 0 0.883. Now that's my answer. 0 0.883 is the addition of this logarithm with this logarithm. Now, in terms of multiplication, it means when you multiply them together, it will be also with the number side will be 1.5430. Uh, when you multiply the two numbers together, can you see that is what I'm referring to? Now, before I end this, let me quickly explain the, the very, you know, the the common way of setting question. Now, if I have this type of problem, I have, uh, I want to evaluate this problem. I want to evaluate, evaluate um, 6.421 multiplied by 0 0.00592 divided by 0 0.04129. Now, solution to this problem. Now, what I will just need to do is that I will do the same way, which I will have number and I will have log. Now, which I will be having, I have it 6.421 and I have 0 0.00592. Now, the next thing I will do, this one is to be 0 point. But now, the characteristics of this one, which is the process of this one, it will be what we are having here. The decimal is 0 0.00592. Now it will be, I want to drag the decimal here 5.92 multiplied by 10 raised to power 1, 2, 3, minus 3. Now, which is, we call it bar 3. I've told you that minus is bar in our previous row, bar 3. Now, from there, I can now go to my table of logarithm, which I will. Okay, now I will now go to my table by having 64 under 2 different of 1. By so doing that, which I will have it as 876. And also the same thing, um, 77, 2, 2, 3. Two, three. And after adding up the different. Now, for what I want to let you understand this point. At this point, some people may not be able to handle it like this. Now, some people may not be able to handle it like this. It's very good to present it this way. Is zero. If I want to do it, I can say zero plus zero point eight nine eight zero six. And this also will be by three plus zero point seven seven two. <laughs> Two, three. Now, why are you doing this uh, this way to be able to simplify, you know, to, to, to undo whatever you have it? Now, it means numerator, numerator will be equals to, will be added together. I will add them together. It means it will be added by saying that um, when you add up together, normally from here, I'll be having nine, nine. I will be having seven and eight, eight, eight. 
Papa. That will be 15. That will be 1 point by 3. Now, by 3, which is plus by 3. Now, if I have by 3, it means if I have by 3 plus 1.5. Nine, nine. Can you see that? You can be able to handle it now. This number is a characteristic. It means by three. It means minus three plus one. It will be what? By two. Now, it means I can say that what? By two. Point. Five. Seven. Nine. Nine. By two. Point. Five. Which, the same thing I'm getting now. I can now move on to the next one, which is the other part of the uh, of the of the side of the problem, which I have it as denominator, which is I'll be having is zero point zero four one two nine. Now zero point four one two nine. Now this one we are moving two times. How many times are you moving? Zero point two. I mean zero point zero four nine two eight. It means one two. It means it will be bad two. Point. 41 under 9, I mean under 2, different of 9. 41, it will be 6, 1, 5, 8. 6, 1, 5, 8. Now, it means I cannot move on by having, okay, the next thing I want to do now is that, um, okay. Now, I can now say that um, this and this, which I can, be, it can also be written as, um, <coughs> Bar two plus zero point six one five eight zero point six one five eight. Now, which I can now say that this and this it means I can minus them together. I can minus this two. Let me go, let me make it another table so that to for be to be able to understand very well. I can make another table by having all what I have here result to which is going to be what. But three plus one point five seven nine nine and minus bar two plus zero point six one seven eight. Why am I minusing? Because of division, division, denominator, and denominator. By so doing that, I will have okay, I will have oh, you know, the minus also is showing here, which I will have. Um, I will have it in form of what? Um, uh, bar one, bar one, nine, six, four, one. Yes. Also, which I'll be having. Yes, yes, yes. I'm coming. Now, this minus this to be what? Yes. This will also be equals to. Now, this will be one. This will be four. This will be six. It's not possible, borrow. Which is going to be what? Which is going to be nine? This is going to be zero point. And this one will be what? By one. By one. That will be plus by one. Now, it means what I'm having is what I'm having here. Now, if I want to do it now, I wish I may not have the time. Just go to anti log. Anti log of point. 64 under 4 different of 1. Now, after you have that, you achieve that, this bar, it means the decimal will move back in one point. It means how much we are going to have it will be zero point after the other anti on the anti log. Just put the anti log, anti -log number there. It's zero point because of this bar 1. Because of this by one, which is that is the characteristics. Okay, I will be stopping here. Don't forget you are home with further solutions academy. Further solutions academy. I encourage us more to share and subscribe if you have not subscribed before. Once again, thanks for watching.